<laughs> oh, Santo hey. lost the win! Woo! Whoa. We're testing safety glasses today, Joe. Heck yeah! We got $1 versus $20 versus $150 safety glasses. Do you really need to spend 150 times the money just to protect your eyeballs? Let's find out. Let's. Thanks to eBay Motors for sponsoring today's video. Hey Joe, what you doing? Oh, just grabbing this eBay Motors banner from the toolbox. You know, since they're sponsoring this entire season of Tool Party, I just wanted to make sure that their banner was kept nice and safe. Nice, just like eBay Motors keeps the shopping process safe with their money back guarantee. You get the tool, part, even car you ordered or your money back, it's that simple. And speaking of simple, eBay Motors made it simple for you to buy the exact tools we use on this show by adding links below. Show eBay some love by clicking the description to find tools and a whole lot more. All right, now let's hang this thing up. Pass me a wrench. Okay. This is just someone's sandwich and a delicious cup of peaches. Wait a minute, so if this is just somebody's lunch, then where are my tools? Joe! All right, Joe, why would I need a pair of safety glasses? Well, eyeballs are pretty soft and uh, susceptible to getting damaged by stuff coming at them real quick. Working with chemicals, you're getting sprayed, working with metal, throwing sparks, or sometimes, like we've seen on this show, stuff just blows up. You got me. We've got a few different pairs here, and we're gonna test them out. We have, at the bottom end of the spectrum, a dollar pair of safety glasses. Yeah, made by Bison Life. Trips. Super cheap, that's a basic safety glass. A buck, great. Toss them, throw them in the bag, yep. they get scratched yep. up, you get a new pair, yep. who cares? Next on the list, we have a $20 pair of 3M Soulless 1000 series. They sound cool, that's a cool name. They are rated to the same safety standards as the cheap glasses. Yeah, these are pretty nice. Pretty good seal around the face, pretty comfy. Next on our list, we have Oakley, $150 safety glasses, what the heck? Hey, come on, let's be honest, that is a lot of money. It's crazy, especially for something you intend to beat up. But at the same time, I've spent that money on sunglasses. That's sort of the same thing, right? But do you need to spend that much? I don't know. We also, we got a we got a fourth contender here. He's got some cheapies from the gas station. This represents what a lot of people end up actually using in the garage, just whatever sunglasses they have laying around. All right, so we're gonna put all these glasses through the ringer. We're gonna do mm -hmm. some ANSI tests, mm -hmm. which are official. But then we're gonna put them to the practical test. Yeah. Sometimes to test safety equipment, you gotta get a little dangerous. And we don't wanna mess up our faces. That's right. So. We've been cloned. This is you. This is you. Oh, Jerry, we've always wanted to do this. So the first test we're gonna be doing is the ANSI drop test. So ANSI stands for American National Standards Institute. So one of their tests is a 500 gram spike. So that is dropped directly onto the lens of the glass from a height of 50 inches. Are you ready, Jerry? I'm ready. Are you ready, Jerry? Yes. Three, two, one. Look at that! Hey, direct hit! Just a little dimply dot. Can't even feel it from the backside. That really saved my eyes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dollar pair of glasses. Now we have the $20 pair, gelatinous cherry. He doesn't even look scared. Okay, bud. Three, two, one! Ooh, Ooh, glanced right off him. But, I mean, it was kind of a glancing blow. How about we try it one more time, Joe, to see if we can get a direct hit. Yep. Three, two, one! That was a good hit. I'd say less of a dimple than mm -hmm. the cheap ones. All right, we have our $150 pair of Oakleys. Uh-huh. Whoa! We got it with a bit of a glancing blow, kind of poked his cheek afterwards. Okay, looking for a direct hit on the Oakleys. Three, two, one. Direct. Maybe the least dimpling though. These might be a little harder than the others. But we have one more test. Gas station glasses. You shouldn't be using these. This is just informational purposes only. Oh, direct hit. Just Bounce ejected it, it right straight back up. Is that just the coating or is that the lens? I mean, that guy can still see. Four glasses, three of them safety, no catastrophic failures. Yep. All doing pretty well. Yeah, not, but not bad. Well, like you mentioned earlier, one of the cautions you have to take is getting sprayed or oversprayed when you're spraying chemicals. Yep. So we've rigged up our gelatinous heads here with some pH strips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blast these heads with our uh, chemical uh -huh. and see how much actually gets on the actual eye yeah. portion. I'm gonna hit this guy with a one, two, three. 
Well, not too terribly bad. We got a little bit in his right eye. We got a little peppering in there. Yeah, that definitely burns a little bit, but <laughs> you're probably gonna be able to see. The dollar safety glasses did a pretty good job. Now let's try the $20 pair and see if they can completely eradicate the eyeball spray. One, two, three. Oh, oh. just a little in the right eye. Probably came from up top. I'm gonna put this on my face. See the gap? Yeah, I see it. See, that's what happened. And you here. can't make that gap go away. And I can't make it go away. Like, yeah, what am I yeah, supposed yeah, to do? Yeah. Walk no, no, like no, this? no I'm, I'm with you. Because now I can't work with my hands. I gotta I loosen understand. stuff with my tongue. I understand. Honestly, that's that's to me. That's pretty much a tie. Sorry, Jerry. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. We got a little. Oh, it's bleeding. Oh, oh it's you gotta bleeding. wipe your eye. Wipe oh, your eye, Jerry. Wipe, wipe your, your eye. eye. The seal didn't really properly seal it. In a real life situation, you would have had time to wipe that away. I'm ready to call those the winner so far. But uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and test the gas station sunglasses. Oh, <laughs> she's wet. And I think that just comes from how poorly these are, are shaped to the face. So I think Oakley, Dollar, 3M, and then obviously I'm with you. sunglasses. So far, not unimpressed, but uh, now I wanna see how they handle a harsher chemical, like brake cleaner. Okay, we have some non-chlorinated brake cleaner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one stream straight to the freaking lens. Whoa. Can we do one straight stream on the backside, yeah. see how the gaskets hold up? Yeah. All right, now you might be wondering why we even did that, like spraying the back of them, but the fact is, most of the time your safety glasses are on the bench. Sometimes you'd be spraying something off with some brake cleaner, even though you should maybe be wearing them and you're not, and you accidentally spray your glasses. Dollar units, crystal clear, no problem, didn't care. Holy crap, those did not like it. Oh, it ate it. Can you see through them? Uh, not safely. The Oakleys, oh we That's a code and coming right off. It hasn't rendered them useless. You can wipe that right off and still see through them, which is nice. I would continue using them. Sunglasses? They didn't care at all. You're being kidding me, bro? If anything, I look cooler now. Whoa, dude! For the dollar safety glasses, fine with it. Fine. 3Ms, destroyed. These are trash now. Destroyed. The Oakleys took a little damage. Right. Still usable. Which is another reason these obviously have no coating. They're just straight up plastic lenses, which is good yeah. for chemicals. Because yeah. you don't have a coating to react with. This is probably one of the most common uses for me for safety glasses is grinding, welding, doing stuff that's their own sparks. I've gotten metal in my eyes a lot. We gotta see if these glasses protect our little eyes. That's right, we gotta Flying see how shots. many get in around the sides and edges. You got some sparks in your eyes there, Jer. Your next blink is gonna be <laughs> spicy. But it definitely got on the, in the eye holes. Yeah, there. now that was a lot of direct hits to the face. You know, you usually try to avoid that a little bit better in right. real life, but a lot of metal did get around those. So let's move up to the 3Ms. Okay. $20 pair. Yeah. Wow. It did better. It did amazing. Way better. That's pretty good. I could blink that out. Oh, pretty good. There's hardly any in there. Yeah, there's hardly any. Couple specks in there. If yeah. not for the safety glasses, it would look like that. So far, you're paying for performance, but we still have one more. Yeah. Jesus is looking cool, man. Jesus is looking cool. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Actually, pretty dang good. This isn't supposed to happen this way. Again. Don't use sunglasses. Unless you want good spark protection. Right, oh don't say that either. I think most people have seen the picture of a cutting disc that broke off. I mean, that's really what you're thinking about when you're, when you're using a cutoff wheel. Mm -hmm. This thing comes apart, your eyeball can't heal. So we have rigged up a sick little rig that is going to chuck shards directly into the face of our jelly boys. We've got this disc on the grinder that is pre-cut, ready to come apart. So we've got a bunch of hardware, random hardware in this bucket. Some of that is gonna go through this tube by way of compressed air into this fractured disc, causing it to explode into my face. Definitely don't try this at home, even though it looks super fun. Here we go. I'm gonna turn this on in three, two, one. I thought that might happen. <laughs> All right, shut her off. I didn't even have to do anything. I thought you shot it. No. Wow. And uh, whoever put that one on didn't tighten her. That's about as dangerous as it comes. No face contact whatsoever. Part of this is going to be a little bit luck. Luck that we actually hit the... Uh, we get a strike. Take two. And another no hit. Another no hit. Third time's a charm. That seemed like a hit. Oh! oh. oh. 
it was straight to the mouth. Keep going, we gotta get a direct hit. We definitely got a face hit there. The glasses look good. Glasses look great. Well, we are uh, trying to change the strategy a bit. Six discs and we had no direct strikes, so uh, more glasses. Oh! That's a hit! Skipped right off of it. Yeah, no big deal. All right, we have the $20 3M safety glasses. Joe, you ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, something lost the lens, and it's the gas station, boys. <laughs> it's the gas station. That's great. Protected your eyeball. That yep, and that, bacon. That, that was a solid hit. Oh! 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 This thing just can't keep the, can't the important keep the part in. No hit on the Oakleys. Let's uh, explode another. Oh, we got a direct hit to the Oakleys. <laughs> I mean, that's as solid a hit as we could ask for. Okay, well I would give all of these a uh, successful pass. You just wanna make sure they save your eyes and all the safeties did save your eyes. What if you caught on fire? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> all right, Joe, let's see how they do. The $1 safety glasses, the bison lifes. <laughs> I'm melting, I'm melting. Oh man, melted my nose. I mean, look at my eyes though. Yeah. I don't know, yours are smoked out way more than mine. Mine are still white as hell. Yours, yours look like uh, you've been on fire. White but beef. dang. You clean these up and those things are, are fine. For me right now, these are winning. Up third and fourth, we've got the Oakleys at 150 bucks and then the gas station junkers. Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the glasses are just melting. <laughs> Yeah, I you think know. there's an obvious way yeah. between the two. I mean, we got some cracking of like, I guess the uh, the coating. Eyes, pretty good. Pretty good they, eyes. they still don't even look as smoked out as yours did on the first round. Now, the gas stations. <laughs> they took on a bit of a new shape. They did. I wouldn't say that these would protect you from a blast of flame straight to the, straight to the eyes. I went to a store this morning <laughs> and bought a nail gun. So, I was thinking maybe we shoot some nails at these things. Oh, heck yeah. I bought the biggest one. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. Why don't they have sights on these? <laughs> so this thing has a uh, automatic mode. So let's see what that does. Okay, cool. Why not? <laughs> okay, that's a few hits on each. Well, that deflected it perfect. No damage at all. Who would have thought safety glasses would be so safe? <laughs> uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Direct hit there and there. No eyes have been put out. Safety glasses did their job. What if we just put the gun straight up to the yeah, glasses? Yeah, <laughs> I want to see what happens point blank. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> Not much you can do about that. <laughs> oh! Sorry, dude! Well, hey, those things aren't falling off anytime soon. I'm gonna be super impressed if any of these stop this. Oh! Three, two, one! <laughs> oh, smart, smart. Right through the pupil. Oh! Straight through. Gah! <laughs> All right, gas station. <laughs> Shattered the lens. Shattered the lens and knocked the other one clean out <laughs> in the process. Basically, the short story is don't take a nail gun to the eye. All right, Jerry, before we get into the safety glasses, let's go ahead and count these guys out. Yeah, if you're using uh, sunglasses from a gas station, don't use them. Yeah. Okay, now let's get to the safety glasses. For about a dollar a pair, we got the Bison Lifes, and I gotta say, they did pretty dang good. They don't have gaskets, but yeah. they still seal to the shape of the face pretty well. At, at about a buck a piece, you get them in a pack of a dozen, yeah, they're like disposable. Question for me always has been whether or not they would actually protect my eyes in the event of something catastrophic, and now I know they will, Absolutely. and they're also basically free. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Moving on to the 3Ms, we have the added face sealer here. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, these didn't fit my face at all. So sure. I wouldn't have picked these even if they were the best, but that's just because they didn't fit my face. Right. Aside from that. It fit my face pretty well, and when it does fit your face, it not only is good to try to keep things out of your eyes, but it's more comfortable too. Now, these did terrible with the chemicals, but otherwise they did pretty well. I mean, against the sparks, the grinder discs, the nails. Personally, so far what I'm thinking, you have a bunch of these around, yeah. laying around, and then you have like one pair of these for when you're doing a bunch of grinding. Mm -hmm. Now, moving on up to the $150 mark. Honestly, I was ready to be impressed by them somehow or another, but they really didn't do anything better than the others. They do a good job, 
right? I just don't really see the value in that kind of money for something that I'm definitely gonna destroy. I would just buy a bunch of these. I'd have a couple in my truck, I'd have a couple in my toolbox, because how many times are you working on a car and you're just like, oh, God, I'm, I'm already I'm fine. here. I'm fine, yeah. I'm not I'll gonna- I'll just do the squint. I'll do the squint. I'm pretty much in agreement with you. I would definitely have a lot of these, but then I think I would have a pair of these laying around for when I need something with a gasket. Yeah. To me, these are the winner. I agree. We just got our new Buff Horses Club tees in. They're super high quality and 100% cotton. Jeremiah already pulled an entire motorcycle engine wearing it, so you know it's been tested. Go get yours today at donutmedia.com. This was fun. This was fun. Uh, I hope you guys had fun too. Thanks for being part of Tool Party with us. Yep. Uh, if you want to see uh, any other tools or you know stuff for us to test, slam them in the comments. We'll comment do it. Down below. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, follow us here on Instagram at Donut at Donut Mia. Follow Zach at Zach Job. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. And until next week, see you later. Be safe. <laughs> If you actually want this hat, uh, join uh, the Donut Underground. Go on the Discord. We'll sign this hat, we'll give it to you, and we'll give you 50 bucks for you to use on donutmedia.com. So you can buy a new one if you want. That hasn't been burnt. Right. My phone, 450. We've been at it for about 12 hours. This is what it takes to make YouTube videos.